Welcome back to another day, another day out on the bike, getting some training done. I'm uh, just pulling into the uh, Lake Morris Road, which takes you up to Coppolode. Um, got to get some uh, good training done this morning before I go to work. Uh, so, yeah, how are you guys going today? Um, hope you guys are doing good, and uh, hope you got out and did some training or something productive this morning to uh, help kickstart your day. That's up there is one of the toughest sessions I've done for quite some time. I'm just approaching the top now and man, when I did that last effort I felt like I was going to fall off for sure. Absolutely smacked me right in the face. But it's good. Glad I got it. Got it. I'm glad I got it done. And uh, now it's time to go to work. What a sick start to the day. For anyone who ever tries to do the Strava segment up here, if you've come to this white sign, you've gone too far. This is like the official 8.5k mark. This is where most of the riders are. They will come to. The official segment finishes at the start of that barricade on the side there, just back around that corner. Have a crack. It's not an easy climb, but uh, it'll get you strong if you, oof, if you set your mind to it. Just on my way to my dad's work to pick up my backpack. I just dropped it there before I went into that session, just to make it a little bit easier, because um, carrying a bag's not fun. But I was thinking, guys, as a carry-on from yesterday's vlog, and trying to be good at specific things, like, I was thinking about that whole session then and how that could have been really, really easy. But things are as hard as you make them. Um, like that session, like I said, could have been really easy if I didn't push those efforts to as hard as I was supposed to be. Or if I just didn't do some of the efforts. If you guys want to be good, like I'm trying to be, then you have to make things hard. You have to make yourself work for it. Otherwise, it's not going to be worth it and it'll probably be a waste of time. Fantastic. I'm set, ready for work. Um, I'm gonna see you guys in like four hours today, that's sweet. Welcome back to the afternoon guys, I've uh, finished work, I'm on the way home, I've had a cracking ride home, I did with some of the A grade boys, two of them, and then as they've headed back home, because they weren't uh, near my way, um, I found some other A grade guys and we've just hammered it out of town Whew, so quick, but uh, I'm feeling good, the legs are actually starting to feel strong now. I probably should have taken it easier after that hard session this morning. I've just picked up the car. Um, Mum's out of a, a, I don't know, some... Don't even ask me what it is. Um, but I've got this. I was meant to stop at Josh's house on the way home. Um, but I couldn't because I had to come and get the car. So my plan is 
then I'll go to Josh's and then come back and get mum a bit later when she's done. Sorted. I can go to Josh's house now. I'm just on the way to Josh's house. Um, yeah, that's basically pretty much it at the moment. Whoa, that camera's falling. Um, yeah, I feel like I haven't seen the guy in forever. Um, but I guess you get that when um, when I like I'm not at school anymore, so I don't get to see him. Um, like before, I used to get to see him like every morning and then every like lunchtime, and then I'd get to see him at lunchtime again, and then I'd see him between classes, and then we'd hang out in the afternoon. And now I just I don't. Josh is like my best friend, and I just don't get to see him, and it kind of really sucks. Um, so I'm just trying to make an effort to to go and hang out this evening while mum's at a, a dinner thingy in Majiggy. <laughs> Josh is down there. Um, I've just arrived and I'm going to uh, have a bit of a shower because I'm in lycra that I trained in this morning and I got wet and it, it stinks real bad. But um, Josh is hooking me up with some clothes I'm going to go and have a, a shower to feel a bit better I think. Oh my a realistic note. How weird is it having showers at other people's houses? Like, I know this is like my second house and all, but it still feels weird. Like, there's, a, there's like a mirror there I'm not used to. Sorry, a window. Like, what if there's no lock on the door? That's just weird, man. And like, you don't want people walking in on you. I need to have a shower. I feel disgusting, so let's go freshen up. Man, the camera's foggy. That feels way better. Alright, let's uh deal with this. There we go, it's better. Oh, man, I feel like a, a real human being who actually looks after themselves now. I think Josh is cooking us some dinner. That'd be kind of, that's kind of cool, eh? So I'm probably stay here for that and then I might uh, head home afterwards. Sounds like a plan to me, sounds like a plan to you. Let's go chill. Time for a little bit of dinner. With Josh, he just made a bit of pizza for us. So that looks looking pretty good. You should be a chef. Yeah. Thinking <laughs> chef. Oh, that could be a good job for you. <laughs> no, it's all good. We um having a bit of pizza. I can't. I, I'm kind of in a bit of a rush because Mum's like calling for me, but I'm actually gonna need this. And we're just hanging out. There's a bit of a movie has just finished over there, and um, that's basically our life. Thanks for Josh. I mean. <laughs> Thanks for dinner, Josh. Alright, I'm gonna roll on home. I've already gone pick mum up. I'm gonna run away. Hi, Cam. See you, Mandy. Have a good night. Don't stab me with that knife. I'll be very careful. I promise. Alright. Time to uh, roll on home. You see? Yeah. Alright. Thanks for dinner, dude. Have a good one. Probably see you yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Bye bye.